Prince William was disgusted at Meghan Markle's attack on his wife the Duchess of Cambridge in her interview with Oprah Winfrey, an expert has claimed. Meghan accused her sister-in-law Kate of making her cry during a bridesmaid dress fitting and shared details of her apology with millions of viewers around the world. Ex-Vanity Fair editor and author Tina Brown, who was friends with Princess Diana, claims William was upset that Meghan decided to talk about the private issue publicly when she knew Kate would not be able to reply. However she claims things are likely to get a lot worse when Prince Harry releases his memoir later this year, and believes he will use its pages to go after his dad Charles and his wife Camilla, who Tina says he can't stand. However she believes Harry won't hit out at the Queen or Kate, saying he's very fond of his sister-in-law. She told, William was disgusted about Meghan's attack on Kate because she can't answer back. But that's nothing compared to how furious he's going to be when this book comes out. During the interview, Oprah asked Meghan about reports of a row at the bridesmaid dress fitting. Insiders had claimed Meghan upset Kate in a row about the flower girl dresses, however Meghan used the interview to claim it was the other way around. She said, it was a really hard week of the wedding, and she was upset about something, but she owned it, and she apologized, and she brought me flowers and a note apologizing and she did what I would do if I knew that I hurt someone. To just take accountability for it. What was hard to get over was being blamed for something that not only I didn't do but that happened to me and the people that were a part of my wedding going to my comms team, saying, I know this didn't happen. I don't have to tell them what actually happened, but I can at least go on the record saying, she didn't make her cry. She added, everyone in the institution knew it wasn't true. I am not sharing that piece about Kate to be in any way disparaging about her. I would hope that she would want that to be corrected. However she accepts that Kate may have been told not to negate the rumors, saying the Duchess is a good person. She said the narrative around the bridesmaid dress fitting was a turning point in terms of her royal life, saying, I think that's when everything changed, really. In the other hand, the decision to travel to the continent rather than the UK prompted a wave of backlash against the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are yet to introduce youngest child Lilibet to most of the royal family in the UK. The Mirror's royal editor. Russell Myers, tweeted that the move had raised eyebrows among Harry's family members as well as the public. He posted, Harry and Meghan's decision to travel to The Hague for the Invictus Games has raised eyebrows among the royal family, amid the Duke of Sussex's claim he cannot travel to the UK with Meghan or their children as it is too dangerous. Twitter user at American underscore RF underscore fan wrote, Meghan and Harry skipped the memorial, because, they would have been small fish in a big sea of monarchs and royalty. With Invictus, there's no competition and they can pretend they are the monarchs. Royal commentator at According to Underscore Taz went a step further, writing, Harry and Meghan are using Invictus veterans to make a reality TV show about themselves. How utterly self-absorbed. The pair will be followed by a camera crew during the games, filming material for a new Netflix documentary. A source told, Meghan is excited to travel with Harry for the event, which is certainly close to his heart. The new docuseries, entitled Heart of Invictus, was announced by the Sussex's R. Tool Productions last year. The website describes the series as a multi-episode production that will spotlight a group of extraordinary Invictus Games competitors from around the globe, members of the military community who have experienced life-changing injuries or illnesses, on their road to Invictus Games. The games have been two years in the making delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and use the power of sport to inspire recovery for injured servicemen and women. They will run from Saturday April 16 until Friday April 22.